Crystal, what are you taking a look at? Well, guys, billionaire Dallas Mavericks owner and Shark Tank guy Mark Cuban has a new entrepreneurial play, and it's actually kind of interesting. Hmm. So, Cuban is pushing forward a new online pharmacy called the Cost Plus Drug Pharmacy, aimed at providing consumers with a lower price on common prescription drugs. Basic concept is fairly simple. It's kind of right there in the name. Cuban's company plans to charge consumers cost plus a 15% profit margin on a whole range of generic drugs. As a licensed pharmaceutical wholesaler, they say they can skip out on all the middlemen costs. They're also reportedly building a pharmaceutical factory in Dallas to produce some of these generics themselves. That construction is slated to be complete by the end of this year. Now, if Cuban's able to provide drug savings to the public, that would be a genuine service. Americans pay two to three times more for prescription drugs than other rich nations, and the markup on some of these generics is insanely outrageous. While most of the outrageous price gouging on American consumers actually occurs in brand name drugs, some generics are still rife with pricing abuse. An analysis a few years back found generic price hikes of 1,000% and even all the way up to 17,000%. And disgracefully, of course, the corporate wing of the Democratic Party is colluding with the entire Republican Party to make sure that those prices stay high and big pharma profit margins stay fat. Even the most basic reform, allowing the federal government to negotiate with drug makers, has proven too much for lowlifes like Kirsten Cinema. So listen, I am certainly all for any effort to give the American people a little bit of relief, even as I realize that behind every heartwarming story of a billionaire doing good deeds lies a corrupt, monopolistic, rapacious system rigged by those same billionaires. It's also not like this is exactly charity. 15% is still more than sufficient markup to score a healthy profit margin. And according to Mark Cuban himself, backing this pharmacy is actually an ideological play meant to persuade people that capitalism isn't all about just triggering opioid crises and denying the poor world life-saving vaccines. In his words, he backed the online pharmacy in order to show, quote, capitalism can be compassionate. Now, there might be another reason for the play as well, though, beyond attempting to reform capitalism's flagging image, because I do think Mark Cuban is a savvy guy, and this would certainly be a pretty savvy play for someone who, say, might be considering a run for high office. I don't have any special insight into whether Mark Cuban is toying with running for president, but a few pieces here do seem to add up. Number one, even though you'd never know it, from the total lack of interest politicians in Washington show to the issue, healthcare is consistently either the number one or number two top issue for voters and has appeal across age, race, gender, and partisan divides. The latest Economist YouGov poll has healthcare ranked as the number one issue for voters, higher by a little bit even than jobs and the economy. A full 90% of voters say it's an important issue to them, and that's pretty stunning. Within that group, we know that huge bipartisan majorities support reforms that would make prescription drugs more affordable. So showing that your focus on the issue would be a safe and pretty popular move to show, yeah, he's a kinder, gentler reality show billionaire than the last asshole. Second, Cuban has been pretty flirty with Andrew Yang, and it's possible, maybe, he sees a lane for himself in Yang's new Ford party. During the pandemic, Cuban had a pretty solid and very Yang-esque idea to take care of people while the entire economy was shut down. Do you remember this? He proposed on Twitter that every American household should receive $1,000 every two weeks that had to be spent basically immediately to help prop up demand in the economy. What's more, Andrew Yang has left the Forward Party platform pretty open outside of a few specific democracy reform ideas that I could easily see Cuban getting on board with. There's no billionaire taxes or single-payer health care or even a specific UBI proposal for candidates to have to agree to. Just things like open primaries, ranked choice voting, and democracy dollars. Good reform, sure, but nothing that would directly challenge billionaire power in the immediate term or overturn the current regime of money and politics that has made the notion that we live in a democracy a kind of cruel gaslighting. In other words, I don't see anything in the platform that would really be uncomfortable for someone like Mark Cuban, a capitalist through and through, who's got enough smarts to know that they probably better cut the peasants a slightly better deal, or at least give them a better pitch if they want to keep the pitchforks at bay. Finally, it doesn't take a genius to sense a pretty significant political opportunity right now. Both of the likely nominees for the two major parties are insanely unpopular. Just look at this. According to a new AP NORC poll, only 27% of Americans want Donald Trump to run for president again. And, oh, by the way, Joe Biden does not fare any better. Only 28% of Americans want him to run for re-election. Those numbers are crazy. 
It's a testament to how rotten and destroyed elite Dems and elite Republicans are that the best they can apparently offer is two old men that three quarters of the country wish would just go away. And for someone like Cuban, even a losing presidential campaign, it could be a branding win. Could stroke his ego, increase his fame, provide him with new profit-making ventures. Cuban toyed, you might recall, with running for president back in 2020. Sagar and I actually interviewed him about it. Then he decided not to run, and he backed Biden. More recently, he said he does not want to run for president, but also that the reason he's no longer interested is because he doesn't believe Trump will run again. So who knows? The man's changed his mind before. He could certainly change it again. Look, Cuban's politics are nothing special. It's mostly just the status quo in a different package. I would be willing to believe he's more competent than the last two bozos who won the presidency, but he's definitely not going to upend a status quo order that has profited him personally tremendously. However, our politics are so stuck and hopeless right now between two parties owned by corporations and costumed on one side in fake identity nonsense and on the other side in addled conspiracy nonsense that I am for literally anything that would help or even have a chance of helping to break that system apart. We can't go on this way, can we? Oscillating between these two dried up husks that everyone hates and seems pretty unsustainable to me. But there's also no clear path forward. The only answer I can personally think of is more democracy, more candidates, more choice, more engagement, more threats to the existing power cartels. Cuban is not an answer in and of himself, but maybe he could provide an opening for something that genuinely could be. In other words, if Cuban wants to add his compassionate billionaire shtick to the mix, I guess I'm for it. And if he's got a way to give Americans slightly lower drug prices, well, the corrupt ghouls here in Washington aren't getting it done, so I'm for that as well. <laughs> It's not exactly a ringing endorsement here, but I can't muster a lot of excitement for our increasing dependence on the whims of billionaires for everything from housing to meat to affordable drugs. If there's one thing I know about the billionaires, it's that they're not going to save us. Um, what did you think of this play from Cuban on the pharmacy, I, I told you. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.